is no evidence of misconduct against a Metropolitan Police officer who was filmed pushing a reveller downstairs outside Brixton's O2 Academy, the force has insisted. However the Independent Office for Police Conduct, IOPC, said it will review the footage as part of its own probe into the chaotic scenes, which unfolded during Nigerian singer Asaki's concert on Thursday evening. It comes as an MP is calling for answers to what led to a suspected crowd crush, stating that ticketing and security procedures have not performed as they should have. Three women aged 21, 23, okay. and 33 are in a You're critical condition and one You're person has been arrested following the incident at the South London venue. Asaki has said he is praying for those injured. Florence Ashalami, Labour MP for Vauxhall, said in a statement posted on Twitter, It is very clear ticketing and security procedures have not performed as they should have for this incident in the occurred. We have answers about exactly how this happened and safeguards against it in future. This will be fully investigated by specialist crime detectives, supported by Linda Council's licensing unit. She added, this is a deeply concerning incident and has turned an experience which should have been a celebration into a very sad day. My thoughts are with those caught up in the crush last night, in particular those that remain in hospital. My central hope is for their full recovery. In a statement outside Brixton Police Station on Friday afternoon, Chief Superintendent Colin Wingrove said an urgent investigation was underway. He said one person had been arrested on suspicion of assaulting a police officer and that three people were in a critical condition in hospital following the incident, down from four reported by the force earlier on Friday. A BBC spokesperson said it was aware of video showing an officer pushing a concert door. We will repeat footage from the events to determine what further action may be required. The case is referred to the police watchdog by the Met, as is standard practice. The Met said in a statement, We are aware of footage on social media showing an officer pushing a woman from the steps. This matter has been assessed by the Directorate of Professional Standards and there is no evidence of misconduct. Meanwhile, two managers was forced to cancel their 20th anniversary party at the O2 Academy Brixton tomorrow. A statement shared on Twitter said, it is with pain in our hearts that we have to announce that due to the terrible events that happened at O2 Academy Brixton last night, we are being forced to postpone tomorrow's show. The new date will be on Saturday, February 18th and all tickets will be transferable or refundable. We understand that many of you are traveling from afar to make it to London for this, but hopefully you will all be available again to celebrate on this new date. Our hearts go out to those who were injured. Love Dave and Steph. It comes after a concert goer who narrowly avoided being crushed by crowds told how she watched one girl almost die in front of her. Vicky Osinleru, a 27 year old radio presenter from Croydon, suffered a panic attack when hordes of ticketless fans forced entry into the iconic South London music venue to see Nigerian artist Asaki. Miss Osinleru took refuge in the first aid room and watched as medics battled to save the life of one reveller. She told Mail Online, I could see there was something happening in the ticketing hall. I went out and saw that the security were literally holding onto the front doors for their lives. The doors were shaking and all of a sudden, they burst open. I remember a man, wide-eyed with shock, shout thank God for my life as he collapsed on the floor. He didn't have his shoes on and was completely breathless. But there was a stampede of people who were trying to flood the venue. I saw at least two girls trampled by a large crowd. People were shouting and screaming, it was terrifying. I started to have a panic attack and just couldn't breathe. I saw I was standing close to the medic's room in the foyer at the O2 Academy and so headed inside to escape the mayhem. There were two young paramedics trying to help people. There was a man and a woman who had broken their ankles and there was another man to the side vomiting. Then another woman was brought in, she looked to be aged in her late twenties, wearing jeans and a top but she was unconscious. She didn't even appear to be breathing. Her face was lifeless as she was laid down on the floor by a medic who gave her CPR for about 20 minutes to half an hour. They were giving her chest compressions, really sting pumps to the chest, but from what I could tell there was very little sign of life. Eventually the ambulance arrived and the medics were continuing CPR to save her life as they escorted her out. 
I don't know what happened to her, but I really hope she pulls through. It was so traumatic to witness something like that, I haven't been able to sleep at all because it's been playing on my mind. I've been to the O2 on numerous occasions but there were so many fans who had come to see Asaki and because it was his last night playing in Brixton, people didn't want to miss out. But what happened last night was horrific, people were seriously, seriously hurt.